Hey, hey, how's everybody doing today? Welcome, it's a rainy, cold, fall Friday in Virginia. My name is Kara Allen, I am your wardrobe stylist, and I help you unclutter your closet and style your authentic life from the inside out. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Um, thank you so much for the hearts. Uh, what, did, what did someone say yesterday? It was, don't be mean, just tap that screen. <laughs> I love that, it's so cute. Anyways, so I wanted to give you hey from Brazil. I know, I have been. I, I was sick earlier this week, so I'm recovering still, but I'm a lot better now. <laughs> thank you, it's good to see you though. So I just wanted to give you guys since it is officially fall and it's officially cold because we're dealing with the um hey from new york city grow the heck up i like that um it's cold outside and we've officially been thrown into fall weather for sure unclutter you from atlanta i got you um and so i i don't know about you but i don't care for fall and winter weather <laughs> i mean i don't mind like the 70s temperatures but yeah it's just a little too chilly for me already hey Kendall it's a little too chilly for me already but I wanted to jump in for just a few minutes and give you some quick hey from Brazil some quick tips tip blah, 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 tips <laughs> um, to give you about hey Paja <laughs> really do <dude>? yes <laughs> all my peeps is here hey Melissa um, about transitioning your wardrobe to fall because if you're like me I love the spring and the summer I love warm weather and it's like dragging me kicking and screaming into the fall because I don't like to put on more clothes I love putting on a dress and going and whatever and in the fall you can't necessarily do that yeah we dodged it but we're still getting some of the rain residualness so that's it's very chilly out today yeah. anyways so your birthday's in spring yeah I got you Yes, yes, I love the warm weather. So, I'm going to stand up because I'm going to show you. I know, girl, like boots and scarves for sure. So, I don't know how well you can see this because it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> so, the first way you can do... Let me turn this other light on. Hold on. It's a little dark in here. Um, the first way that you can transition is... I didn't realize I needed more light in here. Okay, the first way you can transition is layering, right? So like I have this tank on underneath this shirt. That's a good way to layer because it gives you a little extra sealed in warmth and without making you bulky. And these tanks are fabulous. They're from Massimo at Target. They're like 11 bucks. They're very soft fabric. I know I look huge in this, this is weird. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good way to transition. Just throw this on underneath a long sleeve shirt or a short sleeve shirt or throw a long sleeve shirt under a short sleeve shirt that's a good way to do layering thanks I'm all about the love <laughs> yeah it is a weird angle but I don't know how else to stand up so you can see me right so here we go so yeah layer easy layers right so that's number one it looks weird from to me it's like weird in this angle I don't know <laughs> okay so the other way is I got this at Forever 21. It's my favorite spot for Cheap Chick. Hey, Kayla. So yeah, my number two way is scarves. I got this from Target too, last season. It's the best thing, just throw it on. This is how I tie mine. Simple, gives you a little bit of extra warmth around your neck. <laughs> oh, well thanks, it's <laughs> just weird. It looks weird on this side. Anyways, yeah love scarves and have a little print you can wear this with basically anything i mean i'm doing the black thing today i have on blue jeans but black top and black shirt and throw on my scarf right boom done hey instant little chic there and you can rock out the door right so that's number two. First one is layering layer scarves hey tamika and then my second third way would be you have hey there lightweight jackets I love this little leather jacket I actually got this from Ann Taylor it's short it's not it's warm enough but it's not you know heavy and bulky so you just throw that on with my scarf boom you're done 
and you're out the door. And that's a good way to do layering. <laughs> right? That's simple. So, yeah. And then I have on little boots, too. I got these from somewhere. I can't remember. <laughs> but, like, little boots. Cute. So it makes it easy, and you don't have to... Yeah, I don't wear the knee boots because I'm short, and they make me look crazy. So I wear, like, boots that are only come up a little bit past my ankle. Otherwise, I would look like I'm wait about to go wade in the water. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to show y'all, um, flip this around and show you a couple of quick things that I pulled on my Pinterest. Also of how these are some other quick, um, you can't wait for it. Yeah. Like this is really cute. I love the one in the middle. She's got a scarf. She's got boots, cool bag, a sweater. It looks like she may have a little layering on going here, but here's another simple version of that. Really quick and easy stuff, you know? Yeah, the bag is hot. I'm debating whether I should get a navy bag or a brown bag for the winter. I think I may go for the brown one. But here's a way to do it with a skirt. Just simple, quick stuff. Like, just to get you out the door, you know? Sorry. She's got on oh, some cute little ankle boots. She's got a shirt layered with a sweater there and a light jacket. Simple, cute stuff. Like, don't overthink this. Here's another one. Nice jacket, little leather pants, bag, sweater. Easy. You can do this. Very easy. Same with this. She's got heels on instead of the boots. Here's another one. Sort of a poncho sort of dress. With the little booties. And the shirt. Yes, layers are so easy to do. And it's easy to make them cute. You know, so you can just get out the door. That's all it's about. Yeah, it's just about getting out the door. <laughs> you know, you don't want to spend too much time on this. This is she's got a little jacket, a little bag, cute, simple stuff, easy way to get it in and get her done. Right? These are just a cute couple of dresses, but simple stuff. You know, nothing that's like hard to find, hard to do. That's a little bit still light fall weather, but here, this one, you got this too. Boots. All simple. Good way to do everything. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, let me know. Is everybody still there? Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's like, what happened? I saw the screen flash. It was weird. Hey, Marche. Um, oh, gosh. Did everybody pop it? Oh, Lord. I had a problem there. Did everybody blow out of the screen? <laughs> I swear. Technology boy. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, it doesn't. But does anybody have any questions? Can you hear me? Can you still see me? Everybody, I see your hearts. But uh, um, Any questions about layering or scarves or transitioning into fall? Any questions? <laughs> this is weird. Like, I see hearts, but I don't know what happened. Tammy, hey. Hey, Adriana. Anybody have any questions? Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, what? what's going on? Um, yeah, so anybody have any questions about, like, where to buy that kind of stuff or how to put it together or anything like that or anything else you would want to sc see scoped about for fall? You know, I'm not a big favorite. I don't love fall colors. They're not my favorite. Of course you can wear white after Labor Day. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily wear head-to-toe white. You could wear winter white or cream. But, yes, you can wear <laughs> white after Labor Day. I think we got over that one a long time ago. But people still talk about it, so... Um, I think people still feel like you have to follow certain rules. But, you know... In fashion and style, there really are no rules. I don't really follow trends. I follow what works for me, my body, my personality. So, yeah, <laughs> there's that. Does anybody else have any other questions? Thanks for the lovely hearts. You guys are being so sweet. What's my favorite place to shop? Yeah, I love Forever 21 because it's cheap chick. And H&M, um, Charlotte Rue, all those places have cool stuff that, you know, if something happens to it, it, it rips or you spill something on it, you're not going to die because you didn't spend a thousand dollars on it. Like you probably spent maybe $10 on a shirt and I got these legging, not these jeggings from Forever 21 for like eight bucks. Like who can beat that? Oh, I've been out. I haven't really been 
out, I've been out of it, let's just say. <laughs> I had some food poisoning earlier the week that I just got over a couple days ago, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> I wasn't scoping much this week. I didn't do the chatty party at all this week except for Sunday, I think. Yeah, because I just, I couldn't. I was too tired, so. Awesome Mind is at Burlington co -fi. Yeah, they're... The thing about Burlington, they're kind of like, they have a similar setup to like Marshalls and things. I'm a person that doesn't like to dig. So if it's set up in a way where I can just look, because I'm very visual, I can zoom in, I know what I'm looking for, I can go in, boom, 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 find it, then that works. It's fine. It's fabulous. But otherwise, I just, I can't do the digging thing. It drives me nuts. Like, I just don't have that kind of time in my life. But people who do and they find great deals, it's fabulous for them. It's just not. I just can't. <laughs> it's just you have to be in a certain mindset or mood to do that. And most of the time, I'm like, so yours is like a regular store. Well, that's good. Yeah. But I look, my thing is peeling. Um, my jacket. Yeah. Well, that's good. If it's set up like that, then good. Cause otherwise, it's like going to a swap meet, and I can't be bothered. I just can't. <laughs> it's just too much. I feel like, come on now. Are the Marshalls here I actually isn't too bad. I've been in there a couple times and I got... I had to do something for on Instagram with them and I found some cute stuff like workout gear and things like that. So yeah. You guys any, have any other places that you like to shop or you want to share? Because I always like to find new places to go if there are. But yeah, I'm all, all on board for Forever 21, H&M. I'm not a big thrift store person. Again, I don't like the digging. Um, Charlotte Rue. Because all that stuff, you literally can find outfits for under $50. And for me, that's perfect because I don't like spending a lot of money. There's a great boutique here, Shop Violet DC. It's fabulous. Every Monday, they change and re redo the store and get stuff. Yeah, and I don't like shopping when there's a lot of people either. I, don't, I try to stay away from the mall on the weekends or after a certain time in the day because it's just too much. The parking and the walking around, the people with the strollers running you over, like it's just, I can't. I just don't have the patience for it. It's too much. It's just a little, uh. But thanks so much for all the hearts and the love, you guys. Thanks so much. So you have any other questions or, hey, Tracy, or any other things you would like to see me scope about, tomorrow I'm going to work on my closet. So you guys get to see that mess. <laughs> Because my closet truly is a mess right now. And so you're going to get to see what that looks like and how to dig yourself out of that and organize it. And it's going to have to be more than one scope because otherwise we'd be on here for days. <laughs> so, but I'll show you how I clean it out, how I try things on, how I organize it, and how I get it together. Because it's, it's fall time, so I'm transitioning. I don't change... Like, I don't take my fall and winter stuff out. I keep everything in the closet the same. I just organize it so that it is, you know. Because sometimes you can wear a short sleeve shirt, but you can layer it with a long sleeve shirt. So I don't put all that stuff away. You know, it's just, that's too much work. Why, what do you say? Work smarter, not harder? <laughs> do it so it makes it easy for you. I'm all about convenience and making it quick. Like, you know, I can't. Because in the morning or whenever you're leaving, if you're already running behind, you're trying to run around, you got to be able to find stuff and know where it is. Like, it's just, you have to have some organi organization. So, I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. Maybe around 1 or so tomorrow, hopefully. I have something to do in the morning. I have an appointment in the morning, so. I do my makeup. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, <clears throat> it's in my profile that I'm a makeup artist, but I don't necessarily talk about it. And I've done some scopes on makeup like I did my makeup on camera before um yeah it's crazy all of it you need, yeah and you need to constantly be decluttering and getting that stuff out of your house like seriously it's like getting your energy cleared <laughs> getting rid of stuff that you just don't need and I'm talking about pots and pans I'm talking about stuff in your um underneath your cabinets, you know, like, all of your lotions, and, like, if you have, like, ten lotions that are, like, this much full, like, come on, like, <laughs> just get rid of them, you know, and buy one full one, or put them all together, who knows, but if they, if they have different smells, maybe not, but yeah, I mean, you gotta organize every part, your books, your papers, your clothes, your, um, 
even your towels and your washcloths. Like, get rid of the ones that have holes in it or stains on it that they can't be bleached out. Get rid of that stuff because it's like, or use them for rags. Like, put them in for your car, for your, when you, if you wash your own car, do that. Or use it for your dusting or whatever. But organize your life <laughs> because it makes it so much easier for you. Like, seriously. And I'm really getting into being a more of a minimalist to get rid of stuff that you just don't need and don't use and either give it away, sell it if it's in some decent kind of condition, or throw it away. That's the three choices you got. Give it, sell it, throw it away. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of women and children like homeless centers, if you have a lot of lotions, like I get all this crap, not, I won't call it crap, but I get all these samples and things from companies. I have tons of this stuff. What the heck am I going to do with all this? Look at all this stuff. Like, all of this stuff. <laughs> like, how much lotion does one person need? Like, all this stuff. I'm not going to use women's Rogaine. Like, <laughs> but I got, I get all this stuff sent to me to use, to try, to whatever. And it's like in this pile. I don't even know what to do with all this stuff. Yep, Pantene. Pantene over here. I got all this stuff. But it's, it's like, what do I, yeah, they, I got, it was in something, I, they sent this to me. I'm like, I don't, my hair's not falling out. I don't need Rogaine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end up trying to, but see, a lot of the homeless places around here don't take stuff anymore, because that's what I used to do, was drop it off. I got cologne, I got bio oil, like all this stuff. It's so crazy. I got two big boxes, one from Glamour, one from L, and I'm like, oh my God, I'll never be able to use all this stuff. Aveeno, like... So I gotta get a, yeah, I gotta get a box together and just, or give it to one of my girlfriends because I'm not going to use all that stuff. I have particular stuff. Yeah, I've heard the box probably will keep that one, but, um, I just don't have room. <laughs> you you want it? Really? I would send it to you because like, I, I don't, I have no, I have the box. I can just box it up and send it to you. Just tell me which stuff you want and I'll send it to you. Like it's so much stuff. And I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? <laughs> what am I going to do with all this? So, yeah. So, yes, tune in tomorrow. I must. I might also tune in uh have a giveaway. That would. That's actually probably a good idea. But, I mean, I get all this stuff for free. So, it's like, I don't know if I would want to do that necessarily. I could just give it away. I guess. Whatever. Anywho, if y'all want any of that stuff, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will do a giveaway. Because it's all, I've never used any of it. It's just been sitting here for like two months. I got the Glamour stuff in June and the L stuff last month. Yeah, I could too. The, yeah, the homeless place doesn't take it anymore. So I don't, I'm at a loss on what to do with it all. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Even though I have two daughters and a son, they don't need, they, we don't have, we have way too much stuff. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I used to drop off everything. Maybe, yeah, I should take it to an elderly home, too. There are a couple of those around here. But, like, plates. I had so much stuff I gave away. Silverware. All this stuff. Like, I constantly go through and clean. So, when we moved. And now that we're in here, I still need to do that. Yeah, I guess that, too. Hi, Joe. <laughs> right? I <laughs> should. That would be cool, too. Yeah, because I'm sure they're all great products, but I have specific stuff that I'm really loyal to using, and it works for me, so once I find stuff that really works, you know, I might try it just to see, but for the most part, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so, anyway, anything else you guys want to see me scope about besides, like, the closet, the organization stuff, or, um, any, th any other ideas or anything else you want to see me scope about so I can write those down and get on that for you because I want to give you stuff that you need or stuff that you really want to see. Anybody have any suggestiones? Hey, hey. How are ya? Ways to wear scarves. Yeah, I have a bunch of them too, so I could do that. Yeah, I know. I have a lot. <laughs> I, have, I have one purse that's full of scarves because I have no other... I'm trying to figure out how to store them, whether to just fold them or hang them some kind of way, but I think the, for the now the bag works. So, okay. How to wear scarves. Anything else? 
I got off track when I got sick and when I was traveling, so I haven't been doing a lot of dial scopes lately. I know the guys want some stuff about body types. How to dress for your men's body type. Hey, Stacy. Scarf hangers at Target? Oh, I have to check those out. Because I'm going to redo my whole closet. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I mean, I actually like scarves because they're a nice addition to your outfit. Do more of makeup stuff. And they're a good way to add some, you know, color or flavor to an outfit without adding too much bulk, hopefully. Like, that one scarf is kind of big. That no one I normally wear it more in the winter because I my neck gets cold. So, but yeah, I need to figure out maybe a thinner scarf for now. But it's actually pretty cold outside right now. I'm still feeling a little weird from being outside. Yeah, I think I got a little cold, too. It's something. I've just been... <laughs> this has been a bad week for me. First food poisoning and then friggin' catching a cold. Like, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what do you do? What do you do with that? So, it's always something. But anyway, hopefully you have a great rest of your Friday... Yay! Thank you, Stacy. And join me tomorrow because I plan on doing, I know, thank you, um, a style scope tomorrow on closet. I'm going to show you my closet. I showed you once, but I'm going to show you what the mess it has become. <laughs> so, and how I um, organize that. So, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to tune in for that. I'm thinking one, but it may be a little after that. I'm not sure yet. So, yeah. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Hey, Steve. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, and if you're on the replay, you if you think of any ideas that you want me to scope about or anything, you can tweet me at Twitter at Kara Allen. That's K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N. Yes, you are a little late. <laughs> um, aw, thanks. <laughs> I know the kids love that, right? It's like playing a little video game on the on the phone. <laughs> How you have a great evening too. Yeah, isn't that cute? That's really cute. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, girl, I actually have to go to work here in a little bit, unfortunately. My coworker is out, he just had a hip replacement, so they scheduled me to work for him. I was like, really? Somebody could have told me that. I was happy to be off on my Friday evening. Hey, DNC, how are you? Has it's been a while? How are you doing? I, I, it's funny. I can never jump on for a couple of minutes because my my whole tribe jumps on, <laughs> and I love that you guys come in to support me and we have conversations. So, yes, wonderful. Have you been scoping? I haven't seen anything. Oh, and they're green and pretty today. I just love the color. You weren't going to chime in. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Why weren't you going to chime in? I'm trying to keep my time track here. Yeah, I'm, I've am i been resting most of the week. I did go out last night for the 10-year anniversary of... You saw me getting off. Oh, um... Yeah, so... Whoops! Sorry! <laughs> Y'all went for a tumble there. My bad. I know that hurt. <laughs> Whoopsie! Okay. But yeah, DC Magazine, which is this, they had their 10-year anniversary party last night, and I'm like, how could I not go when I'm in the magazine? <laughs> like, that was so cool, because I styled... This is me in the magazine. So I was a contributor. I styled this pretty lady back here, Gracie. Um, yeah, Gracie. She's a really great jazz artist from New York. This was the what I styled her in and everything. And it was fantastic. So I was like, yeah, I have to go. I'm like in the magazine. <laughs> How can I not go? <laughs> so, yeah. I really wish I could have styled Christy. Chrissy, rather. What did I call her? Chrissy. Christy. Chrissy. That's my sister's name. I don't remember it. I wish I could have styled her because I would not have put her in that. I feel like that closed off her body a little bit. I feel like it looks like her body is on backwards because that gives her no 
leeway there. Like, she really needs some type of V-neck cut because her hair's so big, you know? Like, why would you put, why would you put her in that? <laughs> it looks like her head is on backwards. Like, that's freaking crazy. But, whatever. They didn't ask me, so I'm just saying. Um, I used to work at MAC. I just had gone out today. I was supposed to be going to get a tattoo, but my tattoo artist messed up the time, so we didn't do it. Um, so, literally, <laughs> right? Like, I'm like, that looks weird. <laughs> her head looks like it's on her back. Like, it doesn't look right. Ugh, whatever. But yeah, and so I just, this was just to throw on because whenever you get a tattoo, it's better to wear something black so that if you get, if it bleeds or anything, it doesn't stain your clothes because you won't see it with black. So, yeah. I actually, so, you know, these hearts that I have, and I had these before Periscope, by the way. <laughs> but I was always going to have them go all the way up my arm and then come over my shoulder and come down here to meet the other hearts so she was gonna do that and then the love here I'm gonna get that filled in red and then the hope filled in red and then she has to put a little bit more green on the one here and fill this in a little bit so all I have in your wardrobe <laughs> yeah I mean it's a safe thing like people default to black because it's safe and it doesn't take much thought to do anything with black right like you just throw it on um, I have about 34-ish, something like that. You know, I kind of stop counting after 20, but when I sit down and do it, it's about that much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatic experience for you, yeah. Now, I haven't had that happen, but uh, definitely, somebody told me that a guy did that. He was getting a tattoo, and he hit his... He passed out and he hit his neck on the chair and he like peed on himself. Like that's embarrassing. <laughs> like you know what I mean? That'll make you never want to go get a dang tattoo ever again in your life if that happens. That's that's a traumatic kind of experience. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, darn, that's no bueno. Right, exactly. I was like, because they said guys don't do as well with like with women, so... <laughs> I mean, but t trust me, getting a t oh, you have a sleeve, damn. Um, getting a tattoo is a whole different pain than, like, having a baby. Like, seriously, it is, you know, people who say it doesn't hurt, you're lying, okay? Or you're on something. <laughs> it does too freaking hurt. Like, how can it not hurt? You're being stabbed a thousand times with freaking needles. Like, how can it not hurt? And I've seen people get them, like, on their elbows and in in their elbow I'm like are you kidding me like what the hell <laughs> like I try to keep away from really tender spots because I just can't take it anymore oh nice it is painful but somebody was telling me that there's some doctor numb or something that you can get and it actually does like if you put it on an hour ahead of time it actually works and you don't feel it as much so maybe maybe that's why I didn't get it done today maybe I need to go get some <laughs> Little ones don't hurt so bad. Like like the one here I have, this is the the one that took the longest. It was two hours, and it really hurt like right in here. And when he started doing that double stuff, Jesus, like I was like holding my own hand, and it wasn't working. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I can't. It hurts so bad. <laughs> it was really bad. So yeah, it's tough. And yet we keep going back. Gluttons for the pain. <laughs> oh, you'll hold my hand next time. <laughs> well, I'm actually was supposed to get it done today, but I'm going tomorrow. So, yeah, I, I won't do the ribs. I will not do. The, I already know. I, I would be done like punched her, and she would like punch me back. So that wouldn't be good. <laughs> so like we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna stay away from that, even though it would be pretty. But yeah, I, I, I'm not doing no feet stuff. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The one I have on my ankle. That hurt so bad. I literally didn't get any for three years after that. Where they put our IV hurt me the most. Eh. And your neck. Oh, God. Yeah, I was holding my daughter's hand last time. And I had. She was like, Mom, I need my hand. <laughs> I need my hand. Because <laughs> it hurt like a butt. I was like, oh, my God. This was not such a good idea. But it literally it was like this big. And it only took like ten minutes. So I could suffer through it. That's why I pick small stuff, because I know it's not going to be that long, and it's not going to hurt that bad, and like 10-15 minutes, she's going to be done. 
So, oh my god, yeah, that's no joke. Hey, pretty. Hey, Addison. So, yeah. Oh, well, good. Thank you for the info, too. So, hopefully you come back tomorrow when I do the closet, because I'm going to dive into my closet, which is a total wreck right now. Like, it's a wreck. It's a wreck. So, <laughs> you get to see that mess. And then, like I said, it's going to be done in pieces, because I'm going to have a chandelier put in. I bought the chandelier. I just have to have it installed now. I might do some shelving at the bottom for my shoes, like shoe racks to stand on. So I'm trying to figure out the best design because it's like I have a New York apartment size closet now. I had a huge closet and I have a teeny closet. So it's like, then I'm sharing it with my son. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> like how do we do all of this? He doesn't take up as much room as I do. Like my closet, all my stuff in there is like taking over the whole thing. It's crazy. Yeah, I am going to do a closet. I'm going to do it in pieces though because it's going to take forever. Like, like I said, and my friend has to come and install the chandelier. So and maybe put some shelves and stuff in because it's just not functional enough and it's small it's a new york size apartment closet like what do you do with that what do you do with that what do you do with that <laughs> indeed but anyways i hope everyone has a great rest of their friday it's 406 i'm gonna jump off because unfortunately i do have to go to work today hmm. so yes any ideas for apartment closets? <laughs> apartment closets. Yeah, when I go over the closet makeover, I'll talk about that stuff. Like how you can use baskets to, to do your lingerie and your socks and your hosiery and things like that. So it makes it easier to keep everything together. Yeah, so I'll talk about that for sure. It's okay. Hey, Simply Shaki, what's up? Yeah. So everybody have a great rest of your afternoon. Love you guys. I might do a little chatty party at night. Depends on how late I get home and how tired I am. I know, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much for all the lovely hearts and everything. Hey, girl. We just did our, well, we were doing, I did three ways to transition. You're looking to fall. And what else did I talk about? Tattoos. <laughs> we ended up talking about that. And my closet organization that I'm going to start tomorrow. So. Yes, you get to see my mess. All right. Thank you. No, girl, I got to go to work. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks. Don't be mean and tap that screen. Uh, that Somebody said that in Mario's thing yesterday. I thought that was so cute. It's a cute way to ask for hearts without asking for them. Because it, you know, it feels goofy to ask for them. But don't be mean and tap the screen is like a cute way of <laughs> saying it <laughs> without saying it. Yeah, no, no, no mad at Kevin today because I got to go to work, unfortunately. My coworker had a hip replacement, so he normally works Fridays, and so they don't have anybody else to work. So they scheduled me, unfortunately. I'm like, dang. Yeah, I know. I was in his scope this morning, and I said happy birthday to him, but I'm not going to be able to participate in the music. And I think I should just stay off of that anyway because <laughs> let everybody else have a chance to do something with it. It's all good. It is all gravy, though. So, but anyways, thanks for popping in. Love you guys, and I will. Oh yeah, yeah. He was um, I don't know. It was like eleven o'clock, I guess. I was just so lazy. I got up late because I came in late. Oh good, you <clears throat> you have a great day too, beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, um, oh, I need some tea and some something. My nose is all clogged up. I'm not adjusted to this the change in weather, this extreme change in weather that we just had. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. But here we are. What do you do? So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Love you. Find me on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Kara Allen, K A R A A L L A N, or you can always email me off my website, at my website, on my website. <laughs> whatever you want to do <laughs> so I will see you guys later thank you so much for the hearts and the love you know what is interesting the one color they don't have oh really yeah that will open it up a little bit I just thought about that I'm like three hours from Virginia Beach yeah so not that far but not too close either <laughs> it's one of those things you can make the trip in a couple hours two and a half if it's traffic's good right 
You guys are so generous with the hearts today. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I will see y'all later. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>